Welcome to the Solax instructional installation video series, we will guide you through the installation and commissioning of Solax X3 Hybrid G4 Pro. Open the package and check the materials and accessories according to the following list. Before installation, please note that the following conditions are met. The temperature needs to be between minus 35 degrees and 60 degrees. Humidity needs to be 0 to 100% and remember no direct sunlight, rain or snow. Inverter need to be protected from direct sea air. Load-bearing walls need to carry four times the weight of the inverter. The inverter should be mounted at a rearward tilt angle of no more than 5 degrees, avoiding forward, sideways or inverted mounting. Please prepare the following tools for installation. Let's check the surface of Solax X3 Hybrid G4 Pro. Strip the cable by wire stripper. Use a crimping tool to squish the terminal. For 5 core cables, pay attention to the following two lengths when stripping cables. Remove the AC connector and insert the wire through it. Cut the waterproof plug if you don't need to connect the EPS port you don't have to cut through the EPS waterproof cover. Connect L1, L2, L3, N and PE to the corresponding holes, tighten the lock nut. For PE connection, strip the cable by wire stripper. Use a crimping tool to squish the terminal. Sleeve the heat shrink tubing over the PE wire. Then use a heat gun to blow the tubing. Fit the positioning cardboard to the wall and use a level to adjust the cardboard to a horizontal position. After marking the mark, remove the cardboard. Fix the bracket. Open the handles on both sides of the inverter, lift the inverter up and hang it on the bracket, locking the side screws. Connect the PE cable. X3 Hybrid G4 Pro is supplied with two grounding terminals and you can simply connect one of the grounding terminal screws. Plug the AC connector into the grid and EPS port, the AC connector latch will automatically reset. Use a multimeter to measure the voltage between the positive and negative terminals of the PV connector. Make sure that the open circuit voltage of the PV connector does not exceed the inverter's maximum operating voltage, 950 volt. Connect the PV cable, please be sure to plug and use ports with dust plugs. Please use lithium-ion battery from Solax. For more details, please refer to the user manual. In this installation, we use T58 as an example. Connect the power cable, please be sure to plug in used ports with dust plugs. Let's check the definition of the COM1 port and COM2 port. Loosen the screw on the COM1 port and remove the connector. If you connect two strings of batteries, you need to connect both BMS1 and BMS2 port. Insert the cable through the waterproof cover.
If extended communication cable for CT is needed, please use the RJ45 connector. Please note that the arrow on the CT must point at the public grid. When using the three-phase CT, please clip the CT clamps on the corresponding phases. Connect the dongle. Turn on the RCBO and check the status of the LED indicator. Thanks for watching.